it's like a super secure against any solo offlaner. And you can just do it through a gyrocopter too. But at the same time, Dota is a beautiful game. Like yeah. SF has the advantage of getting all the creeps. Because SF. Oh, there we go. Bottom seven gives up first blood. The dual in lane looks like Night Stalker was preoccupied elsewhere. This is not what Cena wanted. Void is not showing yet. Like now he's showing on top lane, so both teams are just very cautious. I wonder if they can actually go for this kill. Because if SF has a TP with his yeah, face and it's, it's not a good kill, I think, too. Yeah. I mean, they do have Zeus ulti and Prophet ulti, but. I thought they're gonna go for fear. Uh, this guy should be here. Yeah, he gets the back and very good good blown up. At the same oh. time, Sumail goes in with his haste. It's not mana, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, my and God. Oh, my. Does not have enough mana for Wekun to follow up. Echo Slam comes out on Universe with a whiff Chronosphere and no time walk up for five seconds. Bone 7 TPs in Medallion's Universe and he is trapped inside. And good God, this wow. Astra is used. The, the, six, the, the Yules change. Yeah, He's owned yeah, him right there. He, he owned himself with the Yules. Wow. He was probably very confused. Like he was clicking on it and yeah. seeing what's going on, guys. They were in such a good position. Fada dodges the Mystic Flare. TP coming in and he will die to Midnight Pulse and a scream from Queen of pain i mean still that's a couple of big kills for eg or for cloud what eg wants to do they want to kill fada and they're not gonna let kill yeah. fada it's just they're just reading them yeah. and once again they see cena moved four heroes instantly to one point sumail caught out in the mid lane does have a yules but Again, he's going to drop as soon as he comes down. There's there's nothing to help him out. If he chronos, he's gonna, also going to die. Enigma's oh, already dead. Universe goes for a TP out. But we'll have to time walk. I mean, if EG wants to stay in this game, they, they really have to come together with all the heroes. Well, they don't have that much longer on nighttime, but yeah. oh my goodness, PPD gets blown up right next to the T4 Sphere. Maybe looking for a perfect ultimate on the back of a Chrono Sphere, but they're probably going to need a buyback from Sumail. They want to hold this tower. I don't even know if he has enough gold. He doesn't. And you keep in mind, there's no black hole either, because they already used it. Yeah, they have to have like a perfect Chrono and a Scream, but everyone's sitting way behind EE. Earthshaker still has Echo up. I don't know if they can hold this. Rain Drax will fall. Still 25 seconds left on respawn nice for Skyrim. And all the vision as well. So they, they understand. The then universe is trying to run out of the Night Stalker vision, but Night Stalker is very deep. I mean, can they even see any of the heroes down the hill? I don't think so. Not with not with darkness up. Not yeah. with darkness, yeah. Cena understands that the only way they lose this team fight is if Garcar gets Corona without an Aegis. Yeah. So they're playing very cautious. And Just to be sure, I mean, this is Universe looking for an ultimate. And. He has his BKB, he jumps in. EE will also get yeah, Black Hole as well as Chrono, but he pops his BKB beforehand. Midnight Pulse looking to break him down. Sumail will finally get the hit on EE. And Roshan looking about a little over 5% HP. Sumail with no BKB, yules himself up and looks like he will get the blink off. Universe goes back in and will be able to kill Fada. He will deny himself. C9 with only two heroes left. Bone 7 comes in, goes for the kill on Sumail. And looks like EG will turn to the winds and leave Roche, the prized possession, left for No Tail, as yeah. well as Bone 7. That was a very good timing by Universe to jump into the Roshan. Mm. But uh, the, the gyro positioned himself very nice. He started running away into the middle of the river. But uh, sadly, EG, uh, they stacked both their But, but uh, it's, it's really difficult for them to take a good fight. EG probably wants to put out some wards if you look at the Sky Ref. Oh, Fear will get... Yeah, Fear has to be careful. Well... Oh, he gets caught out after the Blink Dagger. Sumail flings in with BKB. Call down to follow. Big Chronosphere on Big Daddy, but he has his Aegis. EE has his, has his BKB pop. Black Hole comes out on three. Huge one coming out from Aoi. And that will result in a four-man wipe, potentially, if Night Soccer dies one more time. Sumail is really low. Fada coming in from behind, looking out to finish Sumail off with some lightning. Hmm. I think uh, at this point, BKB pop his ultimate. EE counters it with a BKB of his own, and Fear gets echoed in the face. No BKB up for him. Oh, very Universe nice with a huge Chronosphere to save Sumail. And will Universe make it out alive? Two ultimates. Y yeah, I, I was pretty sure Universe should have died there. Well, I, f I think you got Glimmer Cave, maybe. Ah, oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Well, Cloud9 looking to capitalize off this. EG is getting very good kills. They... Like, uh, Sina has to be a little bit careful with their movement. They put two core heroes on top lane. They need Night Stalker there. Yeah, they, they, they need to understand what made them win the game in the first place. And they were sticking together and taking good team fights. Now you see the reverse. You see EG is sticking together and just the catching these heroes off from time to time. So e they... Um, Big Daddy posting up outside the base, seeing if any people are smoke. Looking for the initiators. Maybe Bone7 can get a lucky hex before they go in here. He oh, runs going. in. Oh, oh he zero the man chronosphere. Owie oh, locked up in the back. Will get a two man black hole. Universe trying to beat on them in the back. Two man will channel his requiem. on Big Daddy will pop a cheese, but where is his team? This was a super weird team fight. That they got annihilated. A huge play call. There was some free. They're always still on top of the network because they can just farm the whole map with no danger. And EG has to camp their base. PBD trying to get some more vision now. They might lose their gem over here, though. Uh, if Night Stalker goes closer, he's going to see him. But, yep, there okay, he is. Go. PPD. Universe looking for a chrono. Oh, nice blink. Gets one on EE. And no one else to follow. They sheep up Sumail. Panic? EE. Oh, oh no, he was not able to live out of that. We see another black hole and another big fight. EE with no buyback. And Fada looks like... He might die, but they turn around on Radiant's fear. Big Daddy running in on him. Bone 7 sprouting up, and Queen of Pain will die in the end. The two for two looks like Gem will exchange hands. That was a nice cheap They took the whole fight with fresh hits. Um, EG, no hope of contesting this Roche, even with all their ultimates up. The lack of vision yeah. severely hindering their movement around the map. So we'll see if uh, C9 does the quick thing. He's going to go on top. Well, they kind of need that ward dewarded. I don't know if No Tail's going to move up. Oh, yeah. Oh. They're going to spot it out. Okay. There they go. Bone 7 still hiding in the trees. Yeah, he's going to go for it soon. He's just waiting for the creeps. The, the creeps entered base now. Oh, there they go. T3 yeah, he's, gonna he's fall going to fall. A couple hits. Oh, they will go on E. No glimmer cape, no nothing. He does have his ages, and they will tank it. Universe blew his BKB. Be black hole this time. So there's the E blade. Black hole coming out, no cooldowns pop. He's still pretty healthy. BKB, Satanic pop, EE still trucking away, sitting in the midnight pulse though. EB comes out and EE is living. Bone 7 TPs into the fight. Big call down, he'll hit nobody. Rax exposed, Universe has died. He will expend his buyback. Range Rax quickly falls. Now EG completely out of ultimates and another Rax. And that was just with the Aegis. Very simple, very simple. That was the correct use of Aegis to say. Universe doesn't have his on. buyback up, goes in on EE. What's the range on Glimmer Cape use, by the way? It's like 800, I think. 800, maybe 900. They, I don't think they've been able to get it off on any of the fights. Well, Bone 7 gets blown up trying to take out the last set of racks. EE with eyes on a prize, focus on the melee racks. BKB Universe will go on to the Gyrocopter. Not sure if he's going to survive that much longer. Gets forced nice out. Stuff. Very and nice for stuff. Satanic popped up, but he's not able to get that many right clicks off. Bone 7 on the left side, trying to take down Sumail. Almost takes down Universe and Shadow Fiend. Fada will finish one off. Will he get the other blink up in just a second? But TP'd out. Yeah, yeah. TP'd out. Into the fight. So, so what is EG's game plan at this point? Like, they, they, they lose one more fight, they lose the game. And yeah. they can't wait until next Aegis because C9 has finally figured out a decent formula for breaking high ground. The, the, the dream for EG is to get the smoke and just get a jump on them outside their base, possibly, and then do something. But that's not even enough because C9 is going to have buybacks. Like at this point, the game is so hard for EG. They're going to be locked in their base because of profit pushing and most importantly because of darkness. Like we already see Universe is playing more confident now. Oh, he gets hexed up. Big Daddy will go in. Big Echo coming out from Misery. Like, will yeah. take down Universe. Universe has no buyback. He's down 415. Yeah, we, we can't like do Instant any GG. blame. This is like he has to do something. He understands. Yeah. Like even if they would win a team fight in their base one more time, it wouldn't change the game. The lane's gonna get pushed and there's no vision for them. C name is gonna have four to five buybacks. They just go again. There's no way EG can take a Roshan fight because even if C9 uh, decides to not take the Roshan. But Prophet can just TP to the base and kill their Rexes. Yeah. Cool. Just get Mega Creeps. Well, EG, or sorry, Cloud9 looking a lot more animated after this game. Uh, EE does not look that happy. He is instructing his team like WTF, how did I die every single time? Come on.